guys. Hope you've had a good week. So, for today's project, we're going to do something magical to this shirt. It's huge. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take it in a lot. And, unfortunately, I have to get rid of this pocket because it's kind of living under my armpit right now. And um, I'm going to take off the sleeves. Sleeves? Yeah. Because, well, I'm not really good at... Uh, at taking in shirts. I, well, I don't know how to take in sleeves. So, um, and also, see where the shoulder seam is. It's kind of pointless to leave the sleeves on if the shoulder seam is going to be there. So, what we're going to do is take the sleeves off and then re-hem this once we're done to have a nice little cap sleeve. So, this should be pretty cute, I think. So, here's what you're going to need. A seam ripper, lots of pins, a ruler and a rotary cutter, or some scissors cutting mat and also a sewing machine and an iron and this big flipping shirt. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take off the pocket and the sleeves. Alright, so I've taken the shirt off so you can see better um, and what we're going to do is take the seam ripper and just break the seam all along here like so. I'm going to continue this and then come back with the finished product. So the sleeves are off now. It looks huger than ever, but now we can see what the final product is going to look like. And I think that looks pretty cute, don't you? And the next thing we have to do is turn the shirt inside out. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is the pinch and pin. And this is a technique I learned from a video on Threadbanger. You should definitely check them out. They're awesome. Okay, to do this method, you hold it out and you pinch where you want it to go, and you pin. Put a pin in. And you just continue that all the way down the seam. And I'm going to enlist some help, so I will be right back. I just did the whole thing and then uh, didn't quite work out because I realized that uh, it would be easier to hem the sleeves first, so I've just put a ton of pins there. Now I'm going to go back and redo what I did, and then I'll show you the final the final result before I sew. All right, I'm full of pins here. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is sew around the sleeve here, just to do the hem, so it's all nice. Um, probably I'm probably going to go all the way around, even though I am going to be cutting this off. And right after, we're just going to sew up where these pins are, right here and then cut off the excess fabric. And a big thank you to my brother who helped me put all these pins in and it took a while and this video is going to be uploaded on Saturday unfortunately. <sighs> but I'll try and get this out to you guys as fast as I can. Alright, be right back. So I'm done sewing the shirt now and what we're going to do next is take off these extra bits of fabric with the rotary cutter. So I'm just going to change the camera angles so you can see that. Okay, so here's where our rotary cutter and ruler are going to come in handy. So I'm just going to go down and start cutting for you guys. Alright. So, you're going to want to go about a centimeter out from the seam. And just cut off the excess. Just follow with your ruler. It'll help you make the cut nice and straight. And then on the curves, you can just freehand it. Okay. And all this is achievable with scissors as well. You can do the same, just as long as it's all nice and cut. And what we're going to do with this after is just iron the seam flat. And then you're done. So I'm going to continue on this other side, and then I'll see you in a bit. So here it is. It's done. And there's the back. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some ideas of your own. Please comment, send a video response if you want, uh, send a message, whatever. Rate, like, whatever you want. I would love to hear from you as always. So I hope you have a good week. Bye!